sex toys are awesome, but also I think um, being very mindful of the materials that it's made out of. So uh, uh, the sex toy industry is unfortunately not FDA regulated as it should be, but it is not. So you can basically build anything and then the way it's categorized is as a novelty device. So when you put it into market, they can be like, oh, it's novelty. It's not actually meant to be inserted into your body, which is really oh, unfortunate. It but be dangerous, right? Yeah, like some yeah. out there. There's like, oh. and that's why like there's the ones that are like, and I would, the general rule of thumb is like, if it's silicone, if it's glass, or if it's metal, those are all non-porous and perfect to use for uh, as, as sex toys. If it's anything that looks like a clearish jelly looking thing, if it's jade, I know jade has become really popular. Like those are all porous materials. And so you can't ever clean it fully and it's going to like harbor bacteria. So I always say like, Stick to your your silicones, your glass, and your metals. And then if it's like jelly like and it's like has that translucent clearish color, like those are the ones that melt and all that. So I would steer clear of it. Another question that comes up is like there are so many options, and as a woman, it could be really overwhelming and confusing. So like, what is what are your tips on that? Oh yes, I as a person that is now probably own, I have like I'm like looking at my shelves like boxes I have like boxes of different ones okay Um, how many toys have you tested oh that's a good question I should really I should really uh count but I I must have I think probably at least like a hundred out of so many choices what are your tips for women on like how to start exploring if they're new to this yeah that's it so I would always say and I know this is not accessible for everyone but if there is a sex toy shop around you especially one that's like very open and friendly like uh like in California we have good vibrations and pleasure chests um I know in New York there's babeland there's like these stores that are much like we've kind of shifted in the in from the dark seedy mm-hmm. like scary sex toy shops to these like really beautiful really well knowledgeable stores so if there is one near you like you don't ever have to feel like you have to purchase something, but, and, but they'll have all these different displays. So you can kind of go around, like touch what feels good for you. What's like, you're like, oh, this sensation is something that I would want to try, like, and things like that. So I would say like going from that reviews, I would be like, I feel like mixed about because there's going to be a lot of reviews that are like, this is going to be amazing. And then like it doesn't work for you and then you're mm-hmm. like what the heck like am everyone's body is different right yeah so exactly it's hard to just read off reviews right yeah so mm-hmm. I would go for like start narrowing down on things like well do you know what kind of material you'd want it to be made of do you want it to be rechargeable what's your price point um and that will narrow down quite a bit and like even colors like if you have a color preference like that'll narrow it down a bit and then going into like figuring out what sensations you like um and if you do have a store near you like being able to like ask that person I think when I I sometimes go in I'm like I really like these like deep rumbly motor vibrations like which one do you like and she's you know like the store person will be like oh like we just got one in that I like I think it's amazing like those people are such wealth of knowledge that I'm I'm very like um yeah if you can have a space where that exists in your area like please do it Yeah. I think it's a lot of women are just afraid to even take that first step. And it's like, you know, walking into a sex shop by yourself or something. It's, it is scary. So what are your tips on just how overcoming that, that barrier? Mm, I think maybe you can always like look at it on I I've, I do this sometimes too. Cause I'm like a semi anxious person, like even restaurants, if I like pick a restaurant and I don't know anything about the restaurant, I like Look at photos of the interior, the exterior, what's the parking situation, what's like the food. I don't know. I'd like do this. Yeah, I need to like slightly prep myself if it's like a if it's a place that's going to make me anxious if I go really unknown. Um, But I think one that and then also like uh, go with friends, like go with friends that you trust in that like you're going to have a good time. Like even if it's just one other person, it makes the experience so much more fun and disarming. I think I can understand if you're like on only like the only person that goes and then the store person's like do you need any help and you're like I'm just looking you know yeah and you can always tell the store person like I'm just looking like oh, this is kind of my first time I, and either you can accept their help to help you like walk you through the whole store or just let them know and I think people will be very respectful of that like everyone knows like sex toys shops 
is not always the most comfortable experience um, when you first go in and it's scary. But yeah, so like uh, these stores will respect that. And then I think just have like fun with it.